Cool. We're back. Sunday brunch for Monday. <laughs> you're bad at beatboxing. What do you mean? Sounds Listen. like you're eating. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's called a squirrel beat. Sounds, it's, it's, or kissing. Mm-hmm. The kissy beats. That's how I kissed. Uh, Sunday brunch for Monday. Jason Collins, Brent Warren back here. What's up? Do Nothing. Will Momoko well, here? We just changed Will's last name. I can't remember that bullshit. We got a, we got a, 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 a God damn it, Jason. We got a special guest. So right emotional. Now. We got a special guest right now. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to see him. But can't he's see him. Here. We don't have enough cameras. And it's my brother, David. David is here. Mr. David Collings. David That's right, Collins. Mr. David Collins. Famously yeah. known from the clip that we posted. That's where... true. People <laughs> did like that clip. Yeah, people like that clip where they thought. I mean. So many people were like, I knew it was Dave. Right. You fucking liar. I used to have nightmares about the two of them beating the shit out of me. It's like getting your ass kicked by a mirror. Am I wrong? Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Will. For yeah. That fake laugh. We were just talking about David was watching the fail videos. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was the, it was the pole oh, vaulting. I'm so old the way you did that. I know. <laughs> I'm sick now because of this guy yes. hacking up a lung. I'm sorry. He goes, I go to his house. The other day to pick him up for something. What are we, what are we doing? Oh, he, my brother's working on my website. It looks oh, yeah. awesome, by the way. Oh, by the way, you're doing mine. I saw your text. Cool. Um, and I go over there, and he's just hacking up a lung. And I'm like, dude, I haven't been sick in two years. Cover your bullshit. mouth. And he goes, he goes, no, I'm not contagious anymore. <laughs> like, it has nothing to do with you being contagious. You're still coughing your germs everywhere. And uh, you know what? His young wife agreed with me. Because nice. I got her sick. Because <laughs> you got her sick. You don't think you think it's bullshit that I haven't been sick in two years? Yeah, I do. Migraines don't count. That's not like a sick thing. That's that's just a life. I'm talking about like this, like like <laughs> all right, like yeah, a yeah. cough and cold and all that. Two years? It's been it's been really? a minute. Yeah, with and that's crazy, especially with all the traveling I do. Yeah, that that's yeah. kind of a, just a second for anybody who I'm surprised you haven't commented on it because you you guys can be mean as shit for no reason. Uh, I apparently live under an airport, so we'll wait for that. that. You know what's funny is we've mentioned it so many times. I don't think you can really you hear really it as well as we it's can just, hear it. To us, it's, it's just so a noise loud. the shit out of breath. It's sensitive for me. Yeah. Sensitive. It's because my mom brought it up. She came it's... to visit, and she can't, she kept bringing it up. And every time we'd be talking, she would go, another plane, and then go back to eating, and then another plane. <laughs> so it's a plane. trigger. It's a trigger for you. And now all of a sudden, it's in my head. Now I think about it. I don't ever think about it. I don't even notice it until you say something. Well, exactly. it's also, we grew up yeah. in a house under an airport. Not under the airport. But we, <laughs> say, we lived under the landing. Path. Shut up, David. That's a great. That's a great sitcom, though. though. I know it wasn't under, under the airport. Under the airport. <laughs> da, da, da. Mole people. <laughs> Mole people. Dad works at baggage claim, <laughs> and mom rips the tickets too. Uh, they got a son who got out of jail, and a sister that isn't related to the under the right. airport. Oh, yeah, Ramos, I almost got there. <laughs> It's called Under the Airport. Uh, new to ABC after Roseanne. <laughs> Not bad, right? I, I was panicking. Follow, probably. Imagine yeah. following Roseanne with Under the Airport. Under We'd the Airport. Hit. Yeah. Actually sounds like a great poem. Um, <laughs> so what's up, guys? I, yeah. I feel like I've seen you in a few days. That's true. We haven't done, we haven't done this. Yeah, we haven't. Yeah. And uh, one of the things we like about this is that we actually can be current like other podcasts. You know what I mean? Yeah, we just want to be like the cool kids. We gotta be like the cool kids. That's the plan. We got. We're the coolest. We're the I coolest. Think. Ki- we're the coolest looking kids, in my opinion. Definitely. Oh my god, yeah. We're our friends are definitely unattractive. Oh, yeah, so definitely unattractive. unattractive. There's one kid in this room only. That's yeah. true. Will, Will. me. It's <laughs> Will. Yes. Yeah. The rest of them are. They love but, oh, the actually, thing. there's another kid in the room. He's not on the mic. Oh my yeah, son's your here. son's here. My son John's here. Yeah. You guys, no, you guys recognize his uh, his work. His work from. In the podcast, so in the cool. uh, Lions Den, yeah. and what's cool, what's good? Cool, the Sunday brunch for Monday. We can just kind of have people come by, hang, yeah, just have yeah, a have a yeah. kind of have That's guests. Fun. My neighbor wanted to come today, but I got out of the house too early. <laughs> that yeah, is such he, a married thing to say. He's, he's, I got he's around Will's age, so he sleeps sleeps like a, a, like a puppy, kitten. like a kitten. <laughs> yeah, well, very cute. Just Will, very cute. Will has puppy eyes right? today, by the way. Have you noticed Will's puppy eyes? Aww. But this just it's early ish. <laughs> so early ish. Yeah. It is 11.45. There's yeah. been 37 planes in the last hour. It's, it's not early yet. Yeah, they've been, <laughs> it's early. The, the mole people have been up. 
<laughs> you guys both have no minutes. It's going to be the middle of the day. In Oof, it's not early. No, no, no. no. Mm. Also, you guys have new, no. I'm the only one with headphones on right now. I feel like I'm the only one. Do I sound? Should like I not be no, wearing? No, no, no. You have to wear them. You're oh, the producer. You have to wear them. <laughs> you're but such I, a dick. You're I making them wear them. Am I, am I? <laughs> no, you're wet. You, you should get closer though to the mic. Really? Like no? no. Well. Actually, that's not bad. <laughs> really? I can't put my mouth on like that. Nah. Ew. Ew, don't put your mouth on. You're going to make everybody The way sick. Will just went, nah, like that. He was so mad. So mad for a second now. I'm keeping it together, though. What uh, What does that mean? Are you going to flip out one day? I may. I may. I know. Don't I flip. Like what do We're they call it? They used to call that going postal. Don't go postal. <laughs> why do they call it that? <laughs> well, back in the day, there was like a I knew thing. you, by the way. I knew you'd know. Yeah. That's why. There I was asked. a thing. My it's brother probably is going to probably correct me on this, but there was back in the 80s, 90s, 90s, a bunch of. Po- See, he knows where that <laughs> <is>. <laughs> A bunch of postal workers were losing their shit at work and shooting up the place. Is that, am, am I? Oh, one, wow. Okay, so one yeah. postal worker went to work. Wait, you'll he take off. I'm going to make sure here. Hmm? There. Okay. Is it really well, not that close? One, yeah. One guy, one postal worker, he was a letter carrier, went into the went into his office and shot everybody. Not everybody, but a lot of them. And they. so then it just became this thing that because of him, Every postal person was nuts. Yeah, and they, they blamed him. Wow. They said he was nuts because of the job. Because of one postal, you know. Why? Wow, because of one. It was guy. only one. No, I don't think it was. I think it was. I think it was more than one. That's the only one. I, I, I mean, I, I don't. Like I don't he, even know. He would know. Even the way no, you're there was, no, there was, yeah. <laughs> My always, brother's way smarter here, than me. Here's what it is, though. There's always stuff going on like that. Always. Yeah. But then once it gets attention, then everybody starts noticing it. Yeah. Right, it, it wasn't like it just started happening. Well, no. the, what happened was the postal guy did it, but then other people did it at their jobs. Yeah, and then referred to it as going uh, postal. Yeah, so dumb. That's a bummer for like very uh, not crazy post guy. Yeah, post my, guys. my uncle's a postal post worker. guys. Post guys. Letter He's carrier. such an try, email guy. I, I try to find yeah. it. I go postal. I like every a harsh night letter. I want a letter in my hands. You know, did you hear what I said? <laughs> what? I go postal every night at my job. I go off on people, dude. Yeah, and I kill. Like <laughs> you go off on well, you go off on people just in regular, <coughs> yeah, in regular life, life in the car, just walking around. Like, yeah, sorry, okay, you got to get it out. You got to get it out. Yeah. You know, um, you were saying the thing about how everything's it, it's even more these days because of the internet. Mm-hmm. There are so many things we know everything that's happening. We literally know everything that's happening. Right. Yeah. So, like in other words, if some weird nature event happens, people flip out. It's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. Well, as you but, look, if you open a book. Mm-hmm. You'll find out that that's happened quite a bit over yeah. time. It just yeah. didn't happen during Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, right. You know? That's very. I mean, yeah. Let's. Uh, it's one of the things that made me so nervous about that the witch hunt culture that we live in now. Uh, by the way, Salem, Massachusetts, there was witch hunts, which uh, cut. Yeah. Uh, see, I, you could tell I get insecure too because I he reads. He reads. It's a lot harder when you have somebody who reads. <laughs> he reads. Did you see how insecure yeah, yeah. I got? That was like me with my parents and you're my literally, little your brother. Going, everything you're saying is bullshit. Everything I was you're saying is bullshit. I picking my ear. I don't even pick my ear. I think that was a tick I had when I was a kid. But, but you said that, you know, Witch Strauss and Salem. Well, yeah. Anybody with the History Channel knows that. <laughs> God damn it. Do a slow zoom on my face <laughs> for the clip. I just had a flashback to every family dinner. They would put on Jeopardy and my little oh, brother and my parents would know actually, everything. And it was, what is da-da-da? Or whatever the hell the answers were. I wasn't about that. I was about life. Anyway. Oh, uh, God. I was parasitic. Fuck learning. <laughs> the time. I'm not learning. I'm living. But That's no, what, what, what I'm saying is, is like, uh, what I hate about this outrage culture is now becoming good for the sense that there's so much outrage at every single minute that it's like right. this 20 to 12 hour news cycle. So things that never really should be outrageous. Right. Are now getting like they're not getting the same attention that these fucking dorks writing blogs mm-hmm. posting about. They're not getting their goddamn attention they used to get, yeah. you know, because there's so much of it now. I've, it used have... to be a bully beat the shit out of you. He was a big fat fuck with a bad dad, and he hit you. <laughs> you know, that's what a bully used to be. Now it's Will's with computers and basements, just <laughs> writing blogs. <laughs> right. Trying to get back at something in their past. Mm -hmm. I have FOMO because I'm not outraged about anything right now. You guys know what FOMO is? No, what is FOMO? FOMO, fear of missing out. That's what the kids are saying. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just hate everything, I think. Dude, dude, you you guys see that that dwarf kid on on the internet? I saw... Brad Williams. Uh, Brad Williams go started to go fund me for this kid. This video kid. went viral. His, his this this little 
adorable little boy uh, and and little but also you know little and um his <laughs> he's, he's a little guy cuz he's young but he's also a little tiny being person being so being so <laughs> careful how you phrase it I, i'm not going to say midget um <laughs> He's a dwarf. He's a dwarf. <laughs> he couldn't even try to be. <laughs> it was like he's anyways, on a tight rope. He's adorable. So hard. He's adorable. He's adorable. Dwarf, but then he does this with his hand. <laughs> you can just send smooth ball. He wanted to come out so bad. Oh man, he's a sweet little kid. Listen, damn it. I keep saying little kid, but all little kids are little kids. But when I say little about this little kid, I'm like he's a little little kid. But he's a he's a he has a dwarfism. He has a, a, and I can't remember the technical term for it, but clearly, and, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, well. And he, uh, he was being bullied at school, and his mom, <laughs> his mom videotaped him so, in his car crying. Yeah, he was crying and sobbing about being being it. bullied, it's and terrible. he was, he was saying in the video that he wanted to kill himself. He was saying, "I want to take a knife." <laughs> okay, don't do the stop my se- It was really fucking sad. Tears pouring down his face. Oh, yeah, I retweeted no, the video sad. and said, "Look, this shit starts at home. Teach your kids that it's not nice to bully and all that stuff." Then Brad Williams, a buddy of ours, comic, funny guy. He's also uh, miniature, and he <laughs> getting so getting so many emails about this. He Brad's a buddy of mine. He'll tell you. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Brad is a. Did a GoFundMe for the kid. He wants to wants to do some nice things for him, and he wants him to get to to go to Disneyland. And the goal was go to Disneyland, which is quite... such a serious thing. And it's just so... you're laughing, man. This I, is the worst look. I know why you're laughing because there's a lot of rides. It's that... so hard for him. To be... <laughs> you can like picture the ice under his shoes going. <laughs> yeah. So he wants Brad wants to get him to Disneyland, which like very limited at what he can do there. But he. Oh God damn it. <laughs> Which is a sweet thing, and the goal was ten thousand dollars. <laughs> All they went up over. No, no, don't no cut any of this. I'm, just, I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. It's like this is the hardest laugh, and it's like the saddest story ever. But we're helping because right, we're, relax, we're bringing Will. we're bringing our we're bringing attention to it. So he the goal was ten thousand dollars. He raised like over three hundred thousand dollars for this kid. Really? Which, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, it's crazy what it got to. It's wow. awesome. And there's even a picture of Brad FaceTiming with the kid. Ador- no shit. Adorable. Then all of a sudden, all these conspiracy theorists come out online saying, this guy fooled all of you. This kid is 18 years old. He's an actor. His name is Quadden or Quaden, which, I mean, <laughs> Quasar or whatever his name is. Quaden <laughs> Bayless. I'm going to look it up. I'm looking it up right now to see if there yeah, are any updates. Yeah, Quaden Bayless is, and they're now, but the, there's so many cool things happening now because of the attention being brought to him. Like the the big famous, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know, soccer teams, but football, soccer team out there. He got to walk out onto the field with Manchester them. Manchester United? One of them. It's the Australian yeah. one. Oh, I don't know. And, and people are like, it's just amazing what's happening with it. A bunch of celebrities are coming out. I mean, uh, what's the guy that played Wolverine? Hugh, Hugh, Jack- Jack- Hugh Jackman talked about him and like did all this stuff. Really cool stuff. And now that all these people are coming out saying this kid is an 18 year old actor and he's fooled all of you. And there's like pictures of him in like Gucci suits and shit and throwing really? up peace signs. Really? Yeah. I didn't see any of that. I saw, wow. I, I, dude, I went down a rabbit hole on wow. this stuff. But there's not really, there's no real concrete evidence that he's actually an 18 year old guy. They're like, it, there's a picture of him at a birthday party Stomach. standing next to the number 18. There's pictures of him standing on top of a car, posing like he's a rapper and stuff. But are, are they saying like, oh, he did it to get attention, to get like money or something? I don't know. They they he they said he was like. They're, they're, I saw this one article where they said he was a, a, like a YouTube personality and did like pranks and stuff. Oh shit! But then I started really. Then I then there's a. But then there's a. He's done it. They've done it before. There was a viral video that went out of him being crying about bullying or something in like 2015, and he was five. And the math, that's the math works if he's nine now, you know? And so, and then the moms, it's the mom's talking a lot. And I'm not saying this is what happens, but I started thinking about what's that one. Um, they did a movie about it on, uh, I think it was HBO. And it was that about that girl whose mom had that Munchausen by proxy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the mom would, they would do like GoFundMes and get to go mm-hmm. to Disneyland and, all because her little daughter was sick and had cancer and was and in a wheelchair walk. and couldn't walk. Yeah. Turns out none of that shit was true. The mom had this 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 mental thing called Munchausen by proxy mm-hmm. where she was Getting she her was sick. making her sick oh. and for the attention. Yeah. 
And I just started thinking, I'm not saying that's what's happening, but that could be a theory. But then there's so many, it, it's, it's completely confusing. Like if you follow it right now, there are things that you're going to go, wait a minute. And then there are things that you're going to go, oh, wait, wait, this is, there's a video of him in, a, in like from a while ago. The video, the, the older video of him being harassed is like, and I don't know if he's being harassed, but like the mom is really into like, in my opinion, people are going to write and go, you're a piece of shit, Jason. But in my opinion, the mom seems like she's really into promoting this shit. You know what I mean? Her, yeah. Like the video that, that came out that was an older video was him in a shopping cart and she's pushing him through and she's got the camera right on him and he's leaning out going, what is everybody looking at? And I'm like, oh, that's weird. First uh, of all, dwarf or no dwarf, he is cute and yeah. people look at cute babies. <laughs> yeah. like, don't get mad as soon as you're looking at your cute baby, but like apparently she said that at school she'd pick him up and like people were patting him on the head. You know, and sucks. and then I really felt bad because I think I've pat patted Brad, Brad on the head, head a few times. I'm I mean, sure. it is yeah. something I actually talked to Brad about. I mean, that I mean, it's typical internet. We don't know exactly what if it is true. I couldn't feel worse for that kid. You but know, like, what an amazing thing that Brad was able to do for this kid. That's true. That's I a mean, lot of money. That, and I, a, yeah, apparently, only the ten yeah. grand goes to the kid. Yeah, and I, I guess the rest goes to like anti bullying. Yeah, yeah. association. Yeah, and even I know we called. said this off. Mike, but like, yeah, even if it's all fake and bullshit, at least there's now yeah. more awareness yeah. for all the bullying for bullying. and all that right. stuff. Right. Like, that's even if it's bullshit, it's still yeah. brought. But good I things. can tell you right now, whether the kid is f nine or 18 years old, he has 100% been bullied because of this. Sure. Yeah, yeah, people that's, suck. That you know? is true. That, people yeah. suck, but I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my eye on it. Cause I want to know what I mean. It's, there's gonna, there's got to be stuff. It's yeah. still gonna yeah. be coming out. Like I, I, look I didn't at my know news any apps. of that. That's crazy. Yeah, right. I didn't know yeah. Uh, oh man! I literally just heard that first time from him in the car on the way here. Yeah, that's it's pretty, insane. Uh, like, oh. It is interesting. I'm gonna find it. Out I right noticed now. you guys on some of your other episodes that I've watched. You guys talk about bullying a lot. Well, yeah. Well, we when, didn't when know that we were bullied. I was bullied all the time. Uh, yeah. yeah. What, what was that reaction? Yeah, I bullied. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant yeah. We all were. I used to wear silk tuxedos to school, <laughs> and talk about how magic is real. Is that a problem? <laughs> I just said, I just grew up in a neighborhood where the bullies were my friends, but they weren't my friends. Like it was, mm. so they would beat the shit out of me. But if I went to school with them, girls might say hi to me. Oh wow! So okay. it was like it was very aggressive. Uh, but you know, I will say this: out of this woke culture, right? Ah, to will, um, <laughs> I just say it's out right. of this woke culture, like I was, my little brother's gay, flamboyant, mm -hmm. figure skater his whole life. Is he? And, uh, yeah, and, uh, I mean, but, uh, we were talking about it and I was like, how much do you wish you went to high school now? And he goes, oh, this is, and he was like, oh my God, it would be amazing. Right. Because yeah. that's how much, at least it's the growth of people accepting people for exactly <laughs> yeah. who the hell they are. I got some info on the Qua I was not exactly the best case, brother to if you guys want to hear it. Defend. Yeah. I lost so, a lot. Well, every fight. I think you, every fight. I was like the Rudy of losing. Like it was. Oh, you fighting for my little you, were, you yeah. won at losing i Rudy won at losing people will leave him alone like that was the worst when you were in a fight and and the girls around the fight were going leave him alone like, oh, that God. i was like well that just made it worse that hurts so you might as well finish yeah i'm not that sounded sexual <laughs> you know, i'm just saying just kill leave him. him alone he's weak my daughter my daughter my youngest daughter had a had a rudy moment in her life wow it was really cool actually is it okay if I tell a story? Yeah. So I don't know. She was a, uh, she was a freshman in high school. Yeah. Oh yeah. My 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 youngest, who's now twenty three, but she was a freshman in high school, and she was some. Uh, <coughs> she was a September baby, so she's much younger than all the other yeah. all her oh, peers yeah. and smaller. Mm -hmm. And um, she was into water sports. She was in the water polo team, and the water polo coach was really cool. He looked like uh, Michael Stipe from REM. He was like the coolest <laughs> dude, right? But yeah. um. Yeah, Mr. Itson. He was cool. But um, he would make his players, when it wasn't polo season, he would make them swim, be on the swim team to keep them in condition. So Anissa apparently had really good technique in the in the pool, I guess. This is, yeah. this is what I remember him telling me. Again, people who listen, who are, you know, Michael Phelps, I don't know what, about swimming, but she um, had really good technique, so she wouldn't get penalized or fouls or anything, or points mm -hmm. deducted, mm -hmm. but she wasn't fast, okay? So she was a freshman, and they and and uh, she got her fresh her, she got her uh, uh, freshman team letter in 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 water polo. Okay, mm -hmm. last swim meet of the swim season, they made all the girls always be there, even though they were not if they were JV whatever. The last 
the championship meet, they put Anissa on the varsity team for that one meet. Oh, wow. And she was in this race, smallest, youngest, tiniest kid in the pool, right? And as and it's kind of one of those deals where they're going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. And it got to the point where as the race was going on, she was falling farther and farther and farther and farther behind everybody. Yeah. To the point where they were all done and she was still swimming. And the whole, it was at the Olympic pool where they had oh, the yeah. before Olympics in Long mm-hmm. Beach where they had some of those. <laughs> it's not there anymore, but it was in there, packed because it was the league finals, you know. The whole place cheering her on, go, go, go. And oh, she's, wow. And she's this tiny little kid, not, you know, perfect technique, just not fast, you know. Yeah. And she hit the thing and she was, you know, in her cap and she could, you know, in the, the race, so she couldn't really hear, hear what was going on. Or no. And when she stopped and come up out of the water and everybody's standing up cheering her on, it was pretty cool. As a dad, wow. it was just like, that, yeah, that's that going to be amazing. That's a Rudy moment. That's right a Rudy there, moment. Right? Yeah. It was pretty cool. Me getting my ass kicked at the bus stop is not a Rudy moment. So that was a bad example, and you completely <laughs> overshadowed what I was saying. The water, yeah, sorry. It definitely did, and made me emotional. So that's good. Uh, either I, way, I got my a little brother's update. gay, and I got my ass kicked growing up. I, I got a little update, guys, on the <laughs> Quaid, yes. on the Quaden Quaden. I don't know if it's Quaden or Quaden, but it's with a Q. But he's five pieces of proof that Quaden Bayless is not an adult, despite fake rumors. So they're fake rumors, and they're cruel rumors, cruel viral rumors sweeping the internet that this kid is an adult here we go and first number one the claim is he's 18 a birthday photo shows quaid posing at an 18th birthday party the conspiracy theorist claims it's his birthday yeah the truth is the photo was he's posing at his pals it's a uh the photo was taken at at someone else's birthday party so that i i and i i thought that when i saw the picture too uh quaid is posing with his pals in an instagram photo on january 18th it's captain it's captain it's captioned Happy 18th, my ba. I don't know if that's bra or ba or what, but yeah, so there's one. The claim that he's actually an adult posing as a child. Quaid has, has a high-profile Instagram page and modeling career, which features him regularly don- donning designer clothing and blah, blah, blah. Conspiracy theorists suggest it means that he's actually a grown man, and the reality is proof that... No, nah, it's, it's all just proving that he's not. However, what a good life. Well, how old is he? He's how old is he claiming? nine now, I think. Dude, he's cool. When I was nine, I was never yeah, invited. modeling I didn't have for any high end clothing and invited shit. me to their 18th birthday. Yeah, yeah when I was nine, birthday. if I'd have gotten invited to an 18th birthday party, I'd have been, no. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds scary. <laughs> so, yo, that's the latest on that. Yeah, but so I'm still. We're in the same attention. place. We're still paying attention. Nothing's changed. <laughs> nothing's changed, but like. People are work angry. People, people are just people. Well, people want to be shitty anyways because people don't want to believe in something. They don't good. want things to be. They want to believe in good. something good. They want to find yeah. the cracks and everything. Yeah. And they, back in the day, that was just the guy at the bus stop, or that was somebody that w- wasn't invited to the party. But you see, you see the person in the yeah. corner going, "It's all bullshit." But now they have the fucking internet. Point being is like now with the internet and the option, you have the ability to fucking just be shitty yeah. and find things to. Oh, he's getting attention. I want attention. So yeah. I'm gonna build a blog about it because I know how to build it, you know. Yeah, this guy, this this video, this guy couldn't look more like one of those basement trolls. He was like, he's he's fooling all. I'm of sure. Yeah, because people have to find some reason to. You oh, know. Bullshit! I gotta call this back for a second. Do it. Do yeah. it. Can pause it. Yeah. Or you guys can just talk. You know. No, yeah, we'll, we'll pause it. We'll be right back. Pause it. <laughs> all right. Little De- dirt guy. Definitely cue that because now I. I don't like your look. He's like a lifeguard. I'm sick of Will. <laughs> fucking lifeguard. Just you know what I mean? Like where it's like you're not this doing anything wrong, but the lifeguard's looking yeah, at you. Like, you're about to do something wrong. Yeah. I don't like that you think I'll do something wrong, so now I want to do something right. wrong. That's how he looks. Yep. Very judgy. Very judgy. Ooh, I already face. know what Will's I, I figured it sure. out. Judgy little puppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we'll figure it out. I mean yeah. I'm there I, there were leftover out. screws and stuff when I made it. They made it with That's leftovers. Always, <laughs> that's always good. No, there were leftover screws. There was stuff missing. Yeah, let's put, not correct my English. I know we don't Dave, read. Put Dave in there. Huh? Put Dave in the loose chair. No, you're good because that's where the microphone's at. Loose chair. Oh. It's a good book. Mm-hmm. All right, let's just let's get back into it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we were talking about bullying. Uh, you had mentioned yes, we have mentioned being bullied. I, I was surprised to hear that y- you had been. I D- mean, David and I were bullied a lot as kids. We were, it, we were, for a long time the only twins in the school. Right. So that got a lot of attention. Yeah. And my brother and I, when we were younger. We didn't like that too, too much attention like that. Mm-hmm. Stared at. Our, we, our hair was really curly. The kids would say we had girl hair. My mom really? said that I would come home and, and, and cry to my mom and say, I want real boy hair. Yeah. 
But yeah, then then I got a little chip on my shoulder. I just started fighting everybody. But David wouldn't for the longest time. I really, got, everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seriously. Wow. Everyone. I would get in a fight with all the kids. And like... If they were picking on David, they, I, you know, to me, they were picking on me. Yeah, exactly. You know, because he's Cause this twins, and... but he, you know, he's this. I'm um, slightly better looking than him, but <laughs> he could kill us. Though. I remember we had this. Us. We had this articulating spider van doll that was like the old GI Joes. What did you just say? An articulating? You no, know, everything moved. His wrist, his knees, oh, his really? everything. Yeah, right. I love and the way we were David so talks. happy with it, right? And this kid, I think his name was Zeke. Yeah. Oh, oh bully That's, name. You know, and he threw it up in a tree. Our first day of having it, we take it outside. Oh, yeah. And he threw it up in a tree. My reaction was to go, oh. His reaction was to beat the living shit out of me. He threw my Spider-Man <laughs> in a tree, man. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I only remember there were two twins. I can't. I actually can't remember their names. They were in our neighborhood. They moved from, like, Sweden or something. They were the weirdest, creepiest kids. <laughs> yeah. Like, a full-on fuck those kids like they the matrix twins Elliot, Elliot, they two like this and they would oh, say right. elliot's oh. name elliot, elliot, elliot. Oh. these fucking weirdos <laughs> i'm not kidding they, they were and the thing with our street too is like i was all like elliot's one of my best friends but he was one of the biggest bullies in school elliot is my best friend elliot gordon you um, know that yeah and so people were scared i didn't know people were scared to come down our street on their bicycles because of him and because of the sestico brothers and me, I was thrown into that thing, but I was like, no, what they're not seeing from a distance is I'm getting my ass kicked by them. <laughs> Except Elliot, I broke his car, I fucked him up. But uh, the two, the brothers I lost to, but these two fucking weird twins. <laughs> I mean, ugh, <laughs> ugh. Elliot, Elliot, They had these oh, fucked up weird. bikes and they had these bowl cuts, but it was Did like this blonde hair, doll hair. And let me tell you... How fucked up these kids were. They were just so deranged because they were they were thin and taller, but you could throw them around like they were so cr- creepy. You would just hit them. Like you could get the fuck away from. You're me. like marionette dolls. I'm not kidding. <laughs> me and Elliot would punch them in the face a lot, a lot, <laughs> and they just kept going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They what? shit in their own hands and started throwing it at us. Oh, they're monkeys. What? That's Wait. how motherfucking creepy weird these kids ooh, 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 ooh. wait what that's the a fuck? wait hold on that's a real thing they shit in their hands in the middle of the day and threw it at and you. started trying to throw shit at us and we were so thrown off we're like well we gotta beat their asses but we couldn't get wow. to them because they had shit everywhere how have we never heard this story that's weird they're <laughs> shitting in the so throwing just, it at you did they wipe their hands on their jeans or they, they didn't care it was <laughs> everywhere it it, no it was everywhere it was, that's, it was so everywhere. we couldn't get to them oh, Elio, Elio, Elio. they used to come down Elio, Elio. <laughs> on the, on, from a different dude angle, we started though. getting scared of them <gasps> these guys were 80 pounds wet and Ooh. wet with shit <laughs> he's learning i hate that smile after though but it got to a point where it's like oh you could hear them from a distance like i feel like maybe you guys pushed those two twins no, over the edge no that was sudden, the weird thing. to the point of yeah, throwing they, shit they weren't even you. thinking about throwing shit but no, they're like well now we have they to they would do shit on they caught on our bus and they were gangly fucking weirdos <laughs> and no lo, 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 lo. and that they think and they i mean the first thing they did i think they like uh they put like like post it notes on the bus driver's eyes and shit. Like they would do what? things like wait, wait, how would they wait, get wait, access wait, to the bus? There's two wait, of them. Wait, what? Sneaky twin shit. Whoa. And <laughs> one of them would have ooh, 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 and then they'd go behind the bus driver's eyes and go, ooh. <laughs> and then it's like, who the wow. fuck are these? On the bus lunatics. while it's running? Yeah. Yo, Lunatic. I've Post-it been to Brent's notes? hometown. It's That's literally it That's what I've a been specific to Brent's specific weird thing to do. Yeah. They, they I, found listen, them and they would be weird. I've been to his hometown. It is like it's like a Stephen King. It, there is, yeah. Oh, cool. It's like Very, Castle Rock my Dairy. Street, he would love it. Your brother yeah. would love oh, it. Yeah. So I could it's, see that. It's all <laughs> old colonial homes, and it's like, uh, and it's, it's the name of the street that I lived off. It was called Old Main Street. Oh, wow. And down there, it's a bunch of tobacco farms, and Ferry Lane is where uh, I went you down get, Ferry Lane with you. Yeah. It, well, it used to be where... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> my brother went down there, and came up a different man anyway um <laughs> point being is that was a scary it's all tobacco and if you've ever seen a tobacco farm it's actually very terrifying because it's it's all brown tobacco and it like it 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 dips it just looks haunting oh wow so i would shoot all my short films like 
we could do any haunted thing you'd want because you'd have fog and stuff. So oh, the cool. the production value was through the roof. That's but awesome. then me and Elliot weren't allowed down that street because it was one house at the end of the river and it was by the Connecticut River. And then all the houses were born in 1800s and there was this one haunted school and everybody had a story about something. So Halloween was crazy. Oh. Hay rides, they were fucking insane. I want to go. Like, oh, yeah, no. I, oh, so, I, it was so a great cool. child. I love my childhood. Oh. But then these kids move in. And <laughs> so now you got like production ha- value. Pigeon, but... They were their huffy bikes same bike <laughs> oh wow they were i don't wish well for them oh my god <laughs> Dicks. it wasn't even it was such psychological warfare that it was because we choke them out we get hit like because they were kept coming for no reason they and just so, wanted to be friends you guys tormented to the point that they just started that's throwing not what happened i promise <laughs> yeah, you that's yeah. not what happened <laughs> These kids like were pigeons. out of their minds. Yeah, say, they sound like they lit fires. You should have cast them in your in your creepy ass movies, dude. Like a like. A, yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah. that would have been good. Been no, because fuck them. I but, couldn't control these coming kids. Out of, coming out of the tobacco field. You have no idea, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, it's terrifying. Hello, hello, hello. Posted notes and shit. So they were what were they? Uh, Who the fuck Dutch knows? Weird. <laughs> weird. They're from Weirdville. <laughs> these kids were. Funny. These kids were. Weirdville. You know what they were? They were doodles <laughs> in an author's fucking book. That's what they were. They looked like doodles. <laughs> they were scarecrows. It's like supposed to be a kid's book, but it's like horrible. Dude, it was the weirdest <laughs> shit. Get away from my house. Why are you licking the wall? Like oh, they would geez. do shit. <laughs> then they would go, to be, what the fuck is that? And so you push them and then they go, and then you hit them. You go, well, I'm going to have to punch you if you get closer. Get out of my space. Then you punch oh, them in the face. God. They did get up. They keep coming back. They were they tormenting just got, you guys. Dude, they, they really, I think they actually, they dominated us. I think because we started getting nervous whenever they came out. Because we're like, oh Whoa. shit, they're yeah, out. 100%. The weirdos throwing shit at us. They're out. That's, Did the parents ever get involved? No. I don't, that's what they say. I don't think they had shit. parents. <laughs> Starts at the home. Um, no, man, we never got to meet their parents, and that was one of the most interesting things. Elliot and I were like, we gotta, we gotta meet the parents. Like, here's the best I could describe them, and I would actually say they are less coherent and weirder. Anybody who's a fan of "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia," the uh, uh, Ponderosa, like. It, it, People know what I'm talking about the the brothers. I know what you're saying Ponderosa. Yeah, or, like those weird the weird the brothers. weird brothers who yeah. wear robes and drink milk and they sleep uh-huh. with each other. That's how they were. They were just they always look wet. And you don't like, know that the show. Fuck? The weird brothers who wear robes and sleep with each other. Yeah, they huh? do, and they drink milk, and it's <laughs> and that's how they were. But they were less coherent. So it was that weirdness oh, where you're wow. like, ugh. And there was a language barrier. And there was a language barrier. I want to know what the inside of the house was like. That's what we and Elliot were trying to figure out. That's why we didn't. We never saw a parent. Damn. No, what I meant like the decor. Oh, it had to be just a bunch of fucking ovals. You knew, did you know which house? You know what I mean? Like it oval was? couches and oval yeah. bullshit. You know, I thought of that. Yeah, I knew the house. We used to go and try to uh, see if we, so they we had would a knock house. on the door. They, just, they weren't they just, just born in a tobacco field. I was going to say, they probably that's where they ooh, lived ooh, in the tobacco ooh, fields. Ooh. Did you ever see the Burbs? Oh, yeah, I love the Burbs. Yeah. The Clopex, that's what that made me think of. Oh, the Clopex. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, on the end of the block. Oh, no, yeah. it was his neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best is when he sees him in the rain digging a grave. <laughs> I just watched that movie again. Honestly, this is I'm gonna build a segment now. Here's what we're gonna do for the fans because this is something I've been doing that's helped me, uh, just in a mental way. Let's recommend a movie a week on these, at least on the Sunday mm-hmm. brunches, for somebody to just. If you don't, we're gonna do the Burbs. Good. I just watched the Burbs again three days yeah, ago. I love it's that. one of those movies that just makes me feel. Yeah, good. it's a good one. Yeah, I is. don't even think I know what the, yeah. the Burbs. Oh, is. you'll love it. Oh, you'll okay. love it. It's what so year was good. it? That was in eighty. Like I'm, I'm gonna look it up now. Yeah, eighty-eight. Yeah. Eighty-nine. So wow, nice. All right. I love so that movie. You Corey Feldman was in that he movie in too. Yeah. That's uh, when uh, he was. And that who's that girl with the with the uh, with the military husband? Um, well, Car- Carrie Fisher was actually back in then. It. She, oh yeah. yeah, Carrie Fisher played Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, oh, yeah. Bruce Dern. Remember when, when she's remember when Corey she's on all fours doing her gardening and Corey Feldman's all no tan lines today. Yeah. My brother is amazing at quoting movies. I love it. That's why there's so many things he can't remember. He can't remember so many things. Which is kind of getting scary lately, to be honest. But he will remember movies th- a course. line from a movie from 1987. Like, he just I've saw I always yesterday. wondered that. Like, honestly, that, that shit with the brain because I, my ability to memorize a script mm. quickly and remember it. Like, mm. auditions, I, I'll get them maybe sometimes 40 minutes before I go in or something and I can memorize 13 pages in 10 minutes. But I was a C-minus student. Mm. Like, how... 
am I able to retain this information? Mm-hmm. But I can't remember a goddamn thing when I'm going into David. <laughs> well, do you, do you think it may? What if it has to do with like you actually give a fuck about? Yeah, I that's, think that's all it is. I think it's just my bit, like my is. interest in it yeah. and wanting to know it. But even movies, like it's the same thing. I can remember. I'll watch movies with people and annoy them that I haven't seen in 15 years, and I'll start saying the lines before they right. say them. My wife hates when I yeah. Do that, and I, I know I had to stop doing time. it. I had to stop doing it, yeah. and I because I would get mad if somebody has a phone out. And, you know, right, right. I, I was like, I was trying to, I was trying to watch the Joker. Or that me, wasn't me. my fault. I know it wasn't. But yeah. um, hey, well, yeah. There's no the. Oh, and Joker. We're watching Joker. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, amateur. <laughs> sorry, Todd Phillips. <laughs> yeah, right. Elio, <laughs> Elio. I remember big things. I remember all of the. Th- but there's certain like right now I've been going through this thing lately where I lose words. Like I'll be trying to say something and then the word for that thing is just I don't, I don't have it. Yeah, I hate that. But one of the things that annoys me, Will's done this, my brother does it, <laughs> is when people don't remember how to get to somewhere that they've already been. Oh sure. That mm-hmm. makes me you do that? fiery angry. Me too. My brother, <laughs> yeah. will not remember how to get somewhere that he, and I'll be like, how many times have you been? Yeah. I will be there once. Yeah, and I'll remember how. I to think get there. maybe you're just really good at that because when we did that, club, I'm really good at a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. That was I'm very Jason Collins. Thank you. Um, no, when we were, we went to the club in North San Diego, Escondido, and we went from the hotel to the club, and I would drive, and Jay every, would expect me to know how to get everywhere. Every after time we left for a to day. go to the club from the hotel, he would punch it in the maps. Yeah, and you're like, how do you I, not we know? we were just there. I know, yeah. but we I'm not I don't from I'm not from there. We went one time. I'm but supposed do, to know. Do you have a brain? That yeah, works. but I'm not like. Do you have memory? But it's one day. We yeah. One day, honestly, you're like, you're like, how the fuck are you? Why are you I, doing the map? I'm like, what? it's because it's oh, a generational man. thing too. That's I'm also, from. Also, also that's gotta be frustrating it's, with him. Yeah. It's not your fault. How Let me tell, sp- It's no- not your fault, but I, you do have a yellable face. You do. Like you want to yell at him for no reason. Why? You have a yellable face. It's not your face, fault. And you have the. The kind of the, the back of your head is so slappable. It's like it, when I see the back it's of your head, it's cute, is but it? it's also like, let me slap the shit. Out of it. <laughs> I want to see the, your head go. I just want to see you do that. <laughs> You're my favorite guy here, though. You know? Thanks, Dave. I feel like I'm the Can you say that into the mic, please? <laughs> we obviously we no, love I do. You. That is a thing for me, though. Remembering where you've been. Mm-hmm. I, I it when my brother does it, I'm like, you've been here, right? But That's what, what I can yeah. do that his generation can't seem to get a handle on. I can go outside and point north. Oh, I have no concept. Yeah, no. If, How, if my thing is, if yeah. I know where you north always is, been really good at that. I know where I'm at. I'm not as good cool. at that. I'm as, not as. Good as I don't that. understand. I, I didn't how grow to up know on it. a yacht. I don't understand how to know it. I'm not a captain. Yeah, are we explorers. Like, how the fuck do we know where north is? <laughs> I, that that actually the, th- the thing with me is like I'm actually early on. I actually it might have been ingrained in me. I'm so good at knowing where I'm going after I've been once, but mm-hmm. I think. It's because when I was a teenager, he would yell at me about yeah. not knowing yeah. how to get to a goddamn yeah. place that <laughs> yep. I think it kind of just built it yeah. into me. Yeah, Brent, and now I'm damn good it. at it. This makes sense. But when I get into my 30s, literally I'm Literally five yeah. minutes away of the ha-ha, and we're going north. Oh, remember that first time you said, I'll drive? <laughs> oh, yeah. We were brand new comics, and, and, and he goes, I'll drive to the ha-ha. Oh, and I'm boy. sitting in the car going, maybe he has an errand that he has to run before we go to the club. That's we true, you were kind. In the opposite know. direction. And this oh, is pre-GPS, you tell me and, and that stuff. The best part was halfway through, I was like, Brent, do you know where you're going? And you just went, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we were just driving. Yeah, I just was going. Cause I he couldn't just found stop. Magnolia and went. Yeah. Because I was so thinking about 80 things while I was driving that sometimes I would end up places yeah. and I go, you yeah. got to work on that. And then here's here's the, I think the main reason why I started really trying to remember exactly where I'm going. It was the constant smooth bullying from him. Like, yeah. are you sure you know where you're going? No, 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 no. Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. Oops. All that. Yeah. Supposed to go and left. Supposed to go left. The Supposed time left. I almost hit a bus. I was working. I was work. I was uh, work. I was sleeping two hours a night, and I was uh, working construction, and then I was working at Uink offices and stuff. Oh, right. And doing as many shows as I possibly could, like forty five shows a month, and as much as I could, you know, because you're trying to make it. And I was so sleep deprived that I would fall asleep at the wheel. It could be like noon. So I went to pick up a check, a Uink, and I'm driving. And, you know, they have like the lanes for the buses here where you, you know, where you could just, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just for a bus. I was dozing off at the wheel and the bus is coming. But as I'm about to go this way, I have the green light. If I was not as sleep fucked as I was, I could be aware they have a red that driver's just coming in hot to a stop. 
I went, oh, fuck. <laughs> Hit the brake. <laughs> skid, fishtail. Oh, shit. Right where the bus stop thing is. I go, I somehow maneuver enough where I go through uh, the light pole and this thing. So I get like almost stuck. The whole bus is watching me like. Everybody in now, the what bus. basically just, happened silent, if just... I wasn't dozing off was. Mm, and they're like, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> like, like the normal thing was like, they just did exactly the... what they're supposed to yeah. do in the middle of the day. And I went, motherfucking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're... Oh, oh. and then I pulled out and took off. And they were like, what the hell is What's he doing? that kid's problem? And I think I had talked to you and Dalia because you were my only two friends in comedy. And I was supposed to meet Chris at a coffee shop. Yeah. Uh, a shocker. And, uh, <laughs> And I said, I can't make it. I got in a car accident. And he was, it was the first, like, when shit hits a fan, he's really sweet. It's really interesting with him. Because he goes, you okay? Is everything all right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just embarrassed. I, I went through a, po- I was, most embarrassing thing. It was, was all so the passengers in the bus looking at you? Yeah. And they were looking at me not concerned. They were just confused. They were like, <laughs> what are you doing? do that? I, <laughs> it was a cross between being sleep deprived and just pure, panic That's like there so was funny. just nothing about me that i could save someone in that moment because it i wasn't even coming in hot i was probably going like 20 miles an hour into this thing with a green light and then this stupid ass bus scared did its job <laughs> it scared me for no reason and i went fuck and just <laughs> people on bikes ah. like i had to avoid them and i almost hit one of the poles light poles oh, and i God. went through the thing where the little like bus stand yeah. thing is and so now i'm stuck <laughs> and like the whole side of my car and the front's fucked and everybody's like what the fuck was that <laughs> that's hilarious i got a good bus story yeah i know a person who got ran over by a bus Wait, well, hit I don't or think run that's over? A run good over. bus story. Okay, that's trip. hilarious. You, you're what? Trip. You're no. trip, Jay, because what? if you remember when we lived in the Atherton West apartments yeah, over yeah. there, there was that time where the guy on the bike got run over by the bus. Right. Right by the traffic circle. Mm-hmm. In the Long Beach, there's a roundabout. Well, there's tons of roundabouts for some reason. Yeah. Like it's, I don't know. I think I know Those that. Those things I know a giant one. But that know, roundabout, I've been there. Traffic circle. And it's, there's a Long Beach, I was going to say myth, but it's not. It's true. Legend where the guy who designed this. He died on it in a car wreck yeah. right, on his it's, own. It's thing terrifying. If, you don't, yeah. if you're not used to it, it's weird. He died on his I own know. design? Yes. Yeah. But anyway, so over there. You think there, when he was dying, he went, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this guy who would ride his bike to work every day. Yeah. Right? Ride his bike every work every day down, down Eximino, down, you know. And he, uh, he got pulled under the wheel of the bus. And it, and it, and it you know, because the, the wheel's like this on the road. It ripped his, like, it ripped his pants off and shit. Oh, shit. And they took him to the hospital and everything. And he, he was fine. I mean, he broke some stuff, but he. That's was, amazing. You yeah, got run over by a bus the, and you're at fine. At the time, he was 50. What? Yeah. And the doctor went down and said, hey, uh, I think this is the wrong guy because they didn't believe he was 50 years old. Yeah. And got yeah, run over I know over him by because class. his name is uh, Stan, uh, Ken Stantucci. And he's 87 now, I think, or something like that. And I know him because I teach one of his 16 kids. 16? Yeah, wow. His 16, oh, his, my God. His, she's 40. Oh, wow. She's 43. <laughs> yeah, she's 43. She has Down syndrome. But she's been with me for like 12 years, 13 yeah. years. She's like family now. And I remember he was sitting there. We were talking. And he starts telling me this story about when he got run over by the bus. And you're like, oh, shit, I'm like, I remember that. Dude, I remember when that It was happened. a legend was a in kid. our neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> so like, you didn't know it was him, and then he tells uh, that yeah. story. You go, you're yeah. the one who got... Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he got run over by a bus and lived. Jesus. Which way? Was he going north or south, David? He was going, he was going east. Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> Rain Man. <laughs> people always get you know It's when, funny when people get confused in Long Beach a lot, because I like to know north out, you know? And when you ask people, a lot of people in Long Beach don't know. They get confused because you think West Coast, the ocean, the beach, California, yeah. the West, right? Yeah. Well, Long Beach is a south-facing shore. So when you point at the beach in Long Beach, you're not pointing the West. You're pointing south. But you know what? I'm it thinking confuses nerd. Uh, but yeah. like for, as my generation, I feel like it's almost like this is going to sound so dumb, but it's like who Probably. cares? You're, you're, <laughs> me. You're, you don't. Where okay, North, we talk about you know, Will doesn't care about hardly anything. No, 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 no. I'm just saying he really doesn't. No, that's. I've not noticed true. that we were in the car. That's not like, true. I don't give a shit. We we'll were in the car no. going to a, to a gig. I'm like, hey, did you yeah. hear about the thing with Trump? He goes, I don't even care. I don't <laughs> sound like that. Put on Drake. <laughs> Here's it where it comes in handy for me, knowing no, remembering shit. 
yeah. when, I, when I have return visits to towns that we perform in. Like I was just in Chicago last weekend at the Comedy Bar, all shows sold out. And um, I remembered where everything was. I remember where yeah. the, my favorite Starbucks was. I remember how to get there. I remember how to get from my hotel to the, no problem. Well, yeah, you've been I never once times. had to use my maps. And it's Ever. also, it, it, and I started doing that a lot too after the bus incident. And uh, I remember all the things now. And I think that's just good mental exercise. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta stop looking at this fucking device to find something. Right. Like, understand that, I don't Every know, north, we south, get in the car, east, will. west and shit. Every time we get in the car, Will, it's like, let me punch in the coordinates of the place that we've been 50 times, and we're going there again. <laughs> I've that's why I don't. That's why I get so nervous driving with you every time. I'm like, God damn, I'm just gonna get abused this whole car ride. <laughs> I've been to Maui twice. Once mm -hmm. when we were Maui, thirteen, bragging, or twelve, you know? right, Jay? Bragging hard. And then yeah. another one, another time when I was forty. Well, Jay and I have all these cool memories when we were thirteen in Maui. Yeah, and I knew exactly where all of them were when I was forty. But like also, I'd just been there. You know, Rain Man. And I was kicking <laughs> pictures of all that. Remember this McDonald's when we were thirteen? Well, yeah, that's a little. That's there. kind of crazy. You remember a McDonald's oh, when yeah. like thirteen or some shit? Yeah. <laughs> Dave remembers a lot of weird yeah. stuff, but then then stuff you just don't remember. Yeah. It's always so interesting. Like and and you know honestly you remember, we acted together before. And you remember events, but you don't like to remember appointments. It's true. I miss points. Yeah, I think it's just on. selective, like yeah. selective hearing. It's selective yeah. memory. Like, yeah. <laughs> there are things that I, I mean, my mom is constantly giving me shit for it. But, like, how do you remember all these things, but you couldn't, you know? But I also be take as a good lot as of your brother and smoke a lot of weed. Stuff. So you do that. You do that. You got meds and weed on you. your side. It's fine for you. That's uh, one of my favorite things is when I was in film school and I asked you to be, and we were like new friends to be in this uh, thing that we still haven't seen, Lethal God. Action. Uh, we did a movie. Uh, somebody right. find that, and if if you're somebody that was involved in it, send it to us, right? Because we want to see it, yeah. and we'll put it on the website. We'll get you know get a website first of all, and uh, um, right here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, that's right. Sorry. God, we're so behind. We're a startup. We're a startup. But I want to see it. But one of the things that I was like, uh, I wonder if Jay's gonna act because he's so funny, and just the person I'm, like I'm in film school and you know doing stand up as a filmmaker and as an actor. So I wasn't really looking to be a stand-up. I was just looking at shit, and I would think, like, oh, that guy's a great comic. He should be a writer. And this guy's this and this. And uh, you and Delia were the two where I was like, well, these guys can be in front of the camera. And to be honest, I was like, well, Jason should be a household name. And so I was like, well, I got a guy that could play this part. And basically it was a satire for the people that made it called uh, Lethal Action, name I came up with. Uh, where I play the really fucking hate everything Mel Gibson type role of you know lethal weapon young hot headed cop yeah right. hot headed as shit so just kind of in an eighties outfit and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna My fucking kill Murtaugh. you and then uh, and this was Fat Jason too so it was funny nice and uh, <laughs> but we had some of the funniest shit but his ability to memorize immediately was so fucking mm -hmm. hilariously good because <laughs> he wouldn't look at a thing either mm -hmm. it was such a me in high school thing right. where it's like i'll do it at the last second so he yeah. wouldn't look at shit he would just be hanging what's the scene and i'm thinking in my head he, you know how the script no i forgot it you got it and then he would look <laughs> yeah. at it yeah all right we'll figure it out and then know it all <laughs> <laughs> and so I really was like, i'm studying it all night i didn't sleep yeah, and I was such a serious film student that I'm like, I'm going to find the inner of this. I'm going to figure it out. I was involved in casting. So if anybody knows what that goddamn movie is, I, I even lost some of the scenes that we had that were so funny. Remember that scene where that, that big actor scared the shit out of oh. me? There's a scene where there's the bad guy. He's First of all, he's like nine foot tall. Fuck, I want this so French bad. guy. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Any, 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 uh, Huge. Mamadou, or was, what was his name? We ran into him recently, or yeah. not recently, but at a he, show. Dude. The scene was this. I'm tied to a chair, right? And he's interrogating me. And whatever the line was, I read it in the script like he was going to lean in and quietly go, tell me. Tell what, me the name or tell something. Tell me like the that. name. Yeah. And I'm like, all right. So I'm ready for the scene. <laughs> he leans in and yells so loud in my face, tell me the name. I wasn't ready for it. I jumped. Like a little bit. I jumped like a little bit. It's bit. such a Every, great blooper. If you dude, see his face, he goes, everybody on, Jesus <laughs> everybody on set just starts cracking up. And I was like, yo, shit, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> you scared the shit up. And the thing is, too, is we had like, we, it actually looked good, too, in it some was, of the things. We had like, somebody I, I keep, send this shit if you have yeah. any 
fuck. Yeah, we where, had martial where, arts. Where would we it had be? fighting, like, we had chases. Uh, we had yeah, car and he chases. did the choreography for the fights Dude, through walls. He's always had a knack with that kind of thing, a knack with that as well. Because we did a movie, we were in film school, yeah. film class in high school. Yeah. yeah. And we made one. I wrote it, I directed it. Anyway, <laughs> it was very good. I edited it. But we couldn't, everybody was making their different movies. Oh, we're going to make a horror film. Oh, we're going to make a this and that. And we couldn't figure out, and you can team up with other other students, and there were two film classes, and you can mix and go, you know what I mean? Yeah. And wow. uh, we couldn't awesome. figure it out, what we wanted to do. So we were sitting around my parents' living room. What are we going to make this fucking movie about? And I go, dude, this is the movie. Everybody pitch an idea, and we'll just do a, that idea. Like a and short. come back to us, and then do that idea, right? And uh, his idea was a martial arts a martial arts movie, which was a funny it was fighting. Really yeah, but there was a scene because I I was a I was a martial arts nerd when I was a kid, so my room had everything on the walls and shit. And there was a scene where he was supposed to get up and walk out of the room, and there was a there was a Bali song on the people mistakenly call them butterfly <laughs> knives, but they're not those little things that go. Oh yeah, it's called a Bali song, right? Anyway, it was on the wall, right? And he's supposed to walk out of the thing. And take it off the wall and go, Chata, and walk off, right? And we did yeah. like different takes and stuff. <laughs> and one of the takes, I forgot to put it back on the wall, and nobody noticed but him. And yeah. he didn't say shit. <laughs> and he had everybody because he got up, did the whole dramatic. He's walking, then he reaches for the thing. He goes, yeah, I start feeling around. <laughs> and I going but like, but you like, know, <laughs> but the thing is, I knew it. I yeah, knew, and I was like, I'm, like, I want to, I'm going to commit to the bit. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. Like that, like, at yeah. 15, he was yeah. doing that shit. <laughs> God, we, we got to find that movie. It's Lethal Action. Lethal Columbia, Action. Was it Columbia Film School, guys? Columbia you know, College. I don't even uh, remember the guys. Scott Wilson Scott. directed it. Uh, Christopher Nice was the producer on it. And if any of you guys listen to this, I think I've asked Chris Nice once on a Facebook yeah. message where it is. Because some of the footage is that blooper it's alone. Priceless. It's fucking great. And what are you doing? I mean, we made it. We Let's... made it. I, I think I still have a photo on my phone of that one cool yeah. one where you guys were like back to back. Like, you know what I mean? It was oh, like yeah, a yeah. Total cop movie. Should we tell the story? Of, did we Did we already tell the story of us getting arrested almost? No, we never did. Well, it was in an unreleased. It was an unreleased? Solo. Oh, so, yeah. so when, no. when the cops, we that had like. That was shooting lethal yeah. action. Yeah. Oh, you guys wow. should tell that story because we actually never put that out. So yeah, oh, we, we should tell, tell that story. Okay. So. Yeah, you we're filming the the scene that we're filming is a car scene. Yeah. So we this is the thing we had a a camera rigged on the side of the car, the uh -huh. whole thing, but we had a ton of fake guns. We had a bunch of airsoft guns that if you know anything about it, airsoft guns, they look they look so very real. real. They look very real. We had one we're shooting so these real. scenes in my my suburban neighborhood in Lakewood, California. <laughs> like there's just it's just the most it could be any town USA and, we, and this is the neighborhood that we picked to shoot in. And we're running around the neighborhood with guns. Uh, 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 we're doing it over and over again. Somebody calls the cops. Somebody calls the was it somebody? One of my neighbors called the police and said, "There's a bunch of guys running around shooting guns out of their they car. They have guns and they keep circling the middle school or some shit. Yes, that's like, what it was. They uh, have guns and they're circling the middle school. And I think they even said that we were pointing them at." people which we weren't which we were not doing and we were obviously <laughs> filming something there was an actual there was a rig on the car camera rig yeah. on the side of the car so then we're, we're 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 shooting a scene and we're turning a corner and i see one cop car and i went uh oh and that was where he got very long beach because i remember we were in the car and you're driving and i'm <laughs> yeah. in the passenger seat because yeah. we're we're on the case and then he goes <laughs> he goes oh shit and I go, what? And he goes, we're about to be in trouble, boys. <laughs> and then you take a right, and I was like, what? And it was just one cop car one. by itself. I think it took less than five seconds. Next I turn around, know, it's... <laughs> there's seven freaking squad cars, a helicopter. A helicopter. And crazy. we're blocked off on both and sides of the street. And they got their guns drawn on drawn. us. And they're on their speaker, out of the car, driver, show us your hands. we're like we're in the 80s. Yeah, we're <laughs> so in costume. Funny. We're in like, you know, Terrible the Miami 80s. Vice 80s cop. Think, aviators yeah. what was the Mel Gibson one um, lethal weapon lethal weapon think lethal yeah. weapon you know yeah. that's what we were doing and uh, oh, boy. they're yelling at us to get out of the car they're like driver both hands use the left hand to open the door step out of the car walk he was back the first to one us. that had to walk out to yeah all and I was pretty fresh off of a knee surgery that's true and they said this was interlock your hands and heard. we got our hands behind our back yeah. our back of our heads and they're like walk backwards stop and then they tell me kneel down and I said I can't. I'm not going to kneel down. They're like, kneel down. Yeah. And I by said, the way, he officer, was being very, you could tell, very authority. Aloof. He go, I ain't kneeling down. I'm not kneeling oh, down. Yeah, like, he goes, and then I told story. him. And I says, look, I just had a knee surgery. My leg does not bend all the way. 
if I try to kneel down, I'll fall down, and that ain't happening. I'm not falling in the street. You can come yeah, get me. Especially with guns drawn. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to kneel down. I'm not yeah. going to move. And then they they walked up to me, cuffed me, and 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 walked me. Yeah, and back then to Scott the car. went next. And Scott went next. And I was in the back seat this time actually yeah. because I remember being in the back because I'm buckled. And Scott, they get him out, hands out, get out of the car, open from the outside, walk backwards. He walks backwards, gets on his knees, they cuff him. I'm last. I'm in the car. <laughs> Helicopter, neighbors outside. Yeah. It's like fucking training the spectacle. day. Spectacle. I mean, but the car had a, a camera. Radio. Yes, yeah. it's so but they obvious. Don't know. It was yeah. very. So you know obvious. what I mean? Like we could Max be filming caliber. a shooting. We don't, right. you know. Yeah, yeah. So I understand why they did it. So, yeah. but I'm buckled and my hands are out. They go hands out of the window. I go uh huh, and they go now get out of the car. And I go oh. Oh no, and I'm buckled. Now, <laughs> to Reaching take a buckle, buckle off, it to... looks like you're grabbing exactly. a gun. Yeah. Exactly. So I start yelling, <laughs> but helicopter, <laughs> did, 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 you can't hear it. And I keep yelling, I'm buckled. <laughs> He's Brent yelling, I'm comedy buckled. Yells, says, I know. I'm buckled. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can hear me. I got the aviators. I look like an idiot. Yeah. And I go, wash jeans and shit, just white right, right. Reeboks, you know. <laughs> I'm buckled. Because I had to, in one, there were a lot of very mature. A few of the older vets, they started like snickering. Yeah. They're all, so they they, they realized so what's they go, going let on. Let them unbuckle. So yeah. they, they let me unbuckle. And yeah. I then I they put all three of us in a separate car. And they go, my experience was, they put me in the car in the back and they go, one of you guys is going to jail. And I was like, well, it's going to be him, the producer. Because I ain't going to jail for this yeah. shit. And I tell him, shooting a, a, a short film on Cuff. And I look like an idiot. They don't take our glasses off. So Mind we just you, look stupid. Meanwhile, real quick, meanwhile, they have all we had we had so many guns. <laughs> and they were in the trunk. And and my, meanwhile, they have all of our guns laid out yeah. on oh, that's somebody's so front. It lawn. looks oh, funny. Shit. It like looks Terminator crazy. guns. Like they, yeah. cra- like they cracked the case. <laughs> yeah. Like we got them finally. And the young cops were like, this is our big bus. Yeah. 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 These guys. fucking 80s guys. <laughs> Brett's in really a pink suit. And everything. Oh, yeah. oh it's bad. And I'm in, this, I'm in cuffs and this one guy goes, so what are you doing? I go, shooting a student film. And the thing is, I just graduated. So this is my friend's thesis film. And I'm thinking, I just graduated. I'm doing construction. I'm a flower delivery guy. I'm a waiter. And now I'm cuffed for a thing that doesn't pay. <laughs> and it's and not even your dream. And, and I'm looking at myself in the little mirror. And I see my glasses and my <laughs> shitty hair and my shitty jacket. And I go, is this what I signed up? This is my life. Uh, this is what I did. This is what I chose. And, and I start making the guy laugh because I go, what a life. I go, what a piece of shit I am, huh? And I go, we're shooting a short film. He goes, well, it's stupid to do that. I go, yeah, I'm a pretty stupid guy. And he starts to have sympathy for me. Right on cue, the mailman walks the, up to the, the cop carrier. car. The mailman in the neighborhood walks up. Walks up, the cop car goes, hey, by the way, uh, people have been smashing windshields, so you should look at what him. I and I go, who the fuck are you? Yeah. And then the cop just starts laughing. He goes, all right, man, this is just stupid. Yeah, right, and right. then he goes, well, one of you is going to jail. And I go, well, I have no problem ratting that, the, that guy out. And um, I go, because he's the idiot who's playing with the gun in your yard. Yeah. And he's the motherfucker using your neighborhood for the right. shoot. By right. the way, send the goddamn video, you piece of shit. Right. And uh, I got you your cast. I produced it and gave you the title, you motherfucker. <laughs> DM me. I'll fight you for it. But, um, <laughs> no, seriously, it's bullshit. Anyway, uh, so no wonder you didn't graduate. Anyway, Whoa. point being. Oh, well, oh, got oh got shocker. Him. Somebody pursues art and doesn't commit. Um <laughs> Oh my God, that never happens. Yeah, he's definitely, but, he's uh, definitely not going to send it now. <laughs> oh, really? That's what's going to stop him? Not the fact that, you know, anyway, that he needed it to graduate and decided not to finish editing it, even though he almost got me and Jason arrested for free. Uh, <laughs> so I'm leaving the car and I'm starting to process this. And I'm going like, okay, worst case, I don't want to go to a Long Beach holding cell, but right. I'm thinking that's worst case and a fine. Right. I go, I'm going to be okay. I've been arrested before, and I was like in situations where I go, this they could put something on you. This yeah. is too much of a, a, a like a spectacle that I'm right. like, we're going to be it all right. Crazy. We look like idiots. I, rem- I, that- I specifically remember him going, saying the code or whatever it was for the get the helicopter out of here. Yeah. I yeah. just remember, but we're dressed like idiots. 
I think I might have had a bandana on me or something. It was, but I just remember them taking me from one car to another, and I'm passing <laughs> your car. I'm in the back seat. I'm looking up, and at you're him. so mad because uh, obviously, yeah. what the fuck is this about? This is my neighborhood. Right. I have to deal right. with this. Yeah. I'm an adult. These yeah. idiots. And I just remember going by the car. <laughs> <laughs> saying out loud while they're pushing me cuffed, I go, I'm just an actor. I'm just an actor. I'm an actor. <laughs> and then they put and me And I in start the- cracking up in the back of my car. And he's shaking his head though, like, you motherfucker. Then they put me in the other car and I remember I look back at you from my car yeah. and start smiling like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that? At one point they got us out of the cars. Oh yeah. They sat us the down on the curb. The, tell they, the story yeah. about the girl. Yeah. That's they what I was us, going. Yeah, they yeah. sit us down on the curb to lecture us. Yeah. And the guy, the two guys were like, they were older guys, and they're like, you know, like you guys, chiefs, you gotta yeah. get, you gotta get permits for this kind of stuff. And then this young, like I don't know if she's a rookie or she what, young hot shot, hot headed cop. She's like standing there. She still got her hand on her gun. She's trying to be really intimidating. And she oh, goes, God. you know what? You're lucky I didn't shoot you. You're lucky I didn't shoot and kill you. And I went, I went actually. You're lucky you didn't shoot us. Then, yeah, that, yeah. that yeah, would have been a, that would have been a ma- and I and what did I say to you? I looked at Brent and I go, imagine the paperwork on that, huh? <laughs> still smooth bullying. Yeah, like, still even getting almost years. arrested. Yeah, yeah. glasses still Always on. smooth bullying. They <laughs> not only let, they, then Brent starts pitching our show to him. Oh <laughs> yeah, that that because because I'm the last one to get uncuffed, and now I'm thinking. Motherfucker, am I the one that has to go? Is it because of the I'm just an actor? Like, I'm thinking oh, like, what man. bit did I do that's getting me in jail? Because I said one of us is going, and I'm thinking. I have no problem ratting this Scott guy out. Like I, right, right. And now I'm the only motherfucker that's not out of a cop car. So then I come out of the car, and they uncuff me, and I realize, oh, we're going to get released. But it is it is terrifying. I'm not going to lie. It was it's scary. Because yeah. you have guns to your head. I'm thinking if I trip over a root of a tree, I'm going to get shot. Right. And I sit down, and it's when you had the gas lamp show, and we yeah. were performing that night. We were doing so the show that night. I think it was right after... You had just said that to the because I right. I was sitting down when I heard you go. That's a lot of pay. You would well, you're lucky you didn't shoot us. Be a lot of paperwork for you. <laughs> right. And then I'm just getting uncuffed and I rub my wrist and I go and I sit down. They go sit down, and their guns are still out. Yeah. And I go. Oh. So anyway, we have a show tonight at the gas lamp. If you guys want to come, be like, great. <laughs> and then I think the chief police he goes. You guys gonna talk about this? Or oh, well, let me guess. You're gonna put this in your act. And then Jason goes. I'm gonna talk about this tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think a few if you came. remember that night at the show, we we were comparing cuff marks. We, <laughs> cuff, we, right, we right. still had the marks, red marks on our wrists from the cuff. Street cred. Is that a thing coming from someone who has never been arrested? Is that a thing? Because they do that in movies where they always rub oh, their wrists. Oh, it hurts because they always hurts. do that. It's yeah. an accurate thing. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. had them cuffed where my hand starts turning fucking blue. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. I usually go owie 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 owie. You now they're doing zip ties now. Yeah, those, Not that those I would are know. annoying. Do you remember that time yeah. when we were kids and you slipped out of that guy's cuff? Yeah. I was. I was <laughs> what yeah, is he We were at the mall. <laughs> we were like, yeah, like nine, like, yeah, yeah. right? And my brother. I found this, this mall, little there screw. There were metal rails everywhere. Yeah. On the upper floor, and Jay found this screw on the ground, this thick bolt thing on the ground, and he's leaning on the thing and he just starts going. I'm tapping on the metal. Ging, 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 ging. It's like reverberating through the whole fucking mall. And I thought it was cool as a kid. I'm like, that's cool. And he's like, tick, tick. And so this security guy, you know, rent a cop comes up and tries to, you know, intimidate us. And he tried to put my brother in handcuffs. And Jason's like, whoop, whoop. And he was just out of funny. Good move. Good move. How does that work? Like, uh, I'm friends with, believe it or not, I'm friends with multiple twins. Um, I don't know why that. Imagine that. Yeah, I feel like a billionaire. I don't know what that means. I don't either. (laughs) Billionaires just hang out with twins. They have pet twins. I was just honestly, you know where my mind went? I went to like a fantasy movie where I'm like in a throne and I just have a lot of twins (laughs) around me, like twin servants. Yeah, Dombo, talk to them. (laughs) Dombo. Uh, (laughs) But my point is, is like the other. Like, you guys have a similar sensibility just in, like, comedy. Mm. But it's very yin and yang on the your aggression <laughs> and your ability to be yeah. the troublemaker and his kind of softness. Yeah. And the other twin friends that I have, like, they're the same. Uh, like, very they're similar. They're like the two. That, yeah, me and my brother. We were raised like individuals, though. We didn't have rhyming names. Our parents didn't dress us the same. We always, yeah, they Not always like treated... the goddamn twins of my neighbor. Right. People, Those pieces of shit. People... could have very easily been Mason. Yeah, Mason Thank and God. Jason. It's Mason better than Jason. Hey, yeah. it's better than Javid. <laughs> <laughs> David and Javid. Oh. But yeah, we um, were you always, always just were you always the one that would just kind of do that kind of shit, like just be the one that was like oh. class clowny, class and clown always. performing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you oh. were always behind him, being like, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> 
yeah. it's so interesting to me. I wonder how that happens though, because you literally were raised at the exact same time yeah. with the same parenting. But they they curious. were amazing at the way the way they did it was perfect. A lot of people have a lot of people treat twins like a novelty. Oh. Annoying, which is annoying. Yeah, they're like, oh my god, we're gonna dress them the same. Anytime you ever saw me and my brother my brother dressed identical as one if if like a relative was babysitting us or something they, they because we did get a lot of attention when we were kids yeah. we got a lot of unwanted like people were always looking at us and wanting to take pictures of us and oh, i mean yeah. you think we're good Especially looking now <laughs> holy crap we were adorable but um my parents just we were he was david and i was jason and we're just you know Different. our own thing you know and my parents quickly realized oh they have their separate personalities they have their different differences you know my brother's nickname was Good Old Dave. That's Good what they Dave. called him as kids. And my nickname was Sparky. Yeah, I could see Because I had that spark in my eye. That was like, what am I going to fuck up Your next? nickname oh, was no. Sparky? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that my nickname in baseball was Sparky. Oh, no way. Because of Sparky. Be... Sparky Anderson, I believe, was his name. He was a lefty pitcher. I don't care And this one, yeah. I actually probably got that wrong, Sparks too. Sparky Anderson. But, uh, but I like that we had the when I was thing. a lefty pitcher, they this one coach would call me Sparky. Mm. And I go, what the hell? I'm not a dog. And then, <laughs> it is a dog nickname. Yeah. And then he was like, no, it was his famous lefty pitcher. So my nickname was Sparky because I had a curveball that would break three and a half feet nice. and i would throw it at the worst times <laughs> so it was just like three two count bases loaded tie score last inning let me throw this at him <laughs> and i went i'm gonna try it <laughs> and then it either worked and i'm a hero or ruined the game this yeah, is so I, brent morin by the yeah, way yeah, very, i love it yeah. i love pressure i love the moment so i i got really into it and then I, I they kept calling me sparky into high school and then i i got to when you start pitching in certain teams you get to pick your catcher so i would pick this one catcher mean him because he was a daredevil and i i loved it so we had this great starting catcher i think he played in college too and uh anytime i pitched though i was in the starting rotation just five pitches starting rotation i'm playing i think like 50 games in 40 days so every five days you're the starting pitcher and it was the day he got to start and this is a guy i mean jesus christ the amount of times that he messed up i mean he would steal third base for home with no sign and just like almost get hit by the bat when somebody's swinging, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> That's great. I just loved it because I would look at him like, oh, man, I really shouldn't throw this curveball, but if I do it, and it's awesome, like everybody's gonna think this is cool. And then he would go two, which is curveball, and I would go nice. <laughs> that ball goes flying over their head. <laughs> Run walks in. Coach doesn't look at me. They get my dad. They should get him out of here. <laughs> Here, here's why this is so believable to me because when you I went, you went and met. This. I went home with him one time and we went to a baseball practice mm -hmm. for the and Brent looked at me before we went and said he goes, this can go either two well, ways. Yeah. This can go either like what the fuck are you doing here? Get the hell out of here! Or they're gonna be happy to see me. They were happy to see him. Also, they were but wearing they my stories. jerseys. They were wearing your jerseys. They were in my jerseys because yep. I, I I would make bets with the the GM of our team. Because uh, I would play the team for, at a GM. Yeah, because this was AAU. This is like real sports, not the bullshit you did in Seattle. Uh, Ooh, but uh, Seattle, Seattle, know, man, where Seattle. Where are you from? Arizona. Arizona. You look. You've, you've, yeah. you've, never mind. Where are you from? He's from. You've Oregon. met my parents in my hometown, yeah. or my mom <laughs> in my hometown, <laughs> San Francisco. That's yeah. which is where. Orinda. San Francisco. Yeah, like the oh, Bay. Cool. I'm kidding, yeah. by the way. I love you to death, man. You're one of my favorite guys. Oh, nice. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, that's right. I I totally forgot. You yeah. you came with me, and there was a practice. I made a bet. With uh, with my that guy the GM, we wanted cutoff jerseys. It was right when cutoff jerseys were popular. They were, and uh, I hate that. <laughs> it's very smooth. <laughs> um, I wish they they could see my. All brother. right, so here's the deal. There's something called uh, uh, son of a bitch American Legion baseball, which right. is basically AU. It's a, a form of AU for for baseball, and so we had our high school team. We play in the high school team, but the AU team or the uh, Legion team was like a fucking team we had a pitching coach a batting coach we had a manager we had this you know we had a bullpen and, we, and the guy that was funding it was the dude you met mr zimmerman yeah. and he was uh awesome because we grew up in connecticut and new england you don't you know it snows all the time but he built indoor batting cages did all this stuff wow. for us so we would play all year to play for the summer so your summer you get like 40 days off but we would do 50 games and I actually loved it. It was great because we had all these tournaments on the road and stuff. But I was, of course, class clown and a hothead. And so 
when I would get taken out of the game, I was notorious. I would throw my glove into the stands all the time, and I'd lose gloves all the time. It got really. No, I remember this guy, a fucking stupid ump in Maryland, uh, called fresh. ball yeah. four, and they threw the ball back to me, and I just fucking hurled it to the beach, and and then just threw my glove down, took my jersey. I'm done with this shit. And How old are you like, at this point? I was probably people, like people in his town just got um, used to it. They're like, oh, he's just throwing his glove. Yeah, and I would yeah, bleach yeah. my hair. Like, I would have red streaks in my hair, bleach my hair. I would do crazy shit. I I love being kind of that you know charlie sheen and major league type guy mm. and i had my catcher too so it was like people got excited this is gonna be fun but i made a bet with the the gm and it was funny because i never got to wear this i cut off jerseys became popular because we had four different versions of jersey we had practice jerseys away jerseys certain tournament jerseys Dang. like wow. it was crazy did we, you play for the yankees it was, <laughs> it was crazy funded and so <laughs> i said i said Mr. Samuel, can we get let's get cut off jerseys I mean, we're playing in these summer tournaments, and it's like constricting on the R's. We all want some cutoffs. You know, Ken Griffey Jr. used to wear cutoff jerseys, so we were like, okay, let's yeah, yeah. let's do that shit. And by the way, just so you know, baseball players hate watching baseball. Just gonna mm-hmm. tell you, none of us watch baseball. Mm-hmm. It's so boring, <laughs> and it really is. It's so fucking boring. I love going to a live game, but it's so goddamn yeah, boring. Yeah. None of us knew what was going on on anything. Uh, but I go, let's have cutoffs, and he goes, all right, Brent, we're playing this tournament in uh, uh, where's Plattsburgh, New York, I think. It was upstate New York. It was like 20 minutes outside of uh, fucking wherever the Buffalo. Expos. Expos. I think. Yeah. It's, yeah. It was right by the border. And uh, we were staying in this hotel. And I I said, he goes, okay, Brent, I will get cut off jerseys if you uh, have more than 12 strikeouts in the next, the tomorrow's tournament game. And I, or the, the game you pitch in this tournament. And I was having huge back problems. And me and, my catcher, uh, who's a, a juvenile delinquent like me, we met these girls and started hanging out till like five in the morning. Whoops! And <laughs> and uh, because I already knew I wasn't gonna pitch, I was uh, I was on injured shit and uh, type Yikes. type louder stenographer. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to do it quietly. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I mean, what is he doing? It was like a stenographer. It was, it was like a good burn. Uh, good burn. So I I was I never drank in high school. I wasn't a bit. I didn't I didn't want to. I didn't care, but we would have kids from college, you know, they go to freshman year of college, play baseball. They come back and play on our team. They got introduced to booze and like crazy. So they're wasted. And so I go out the next day and I'm ready to tell my head coach. I go, uh, who, by the way, the head coach, you never got to meet. He came to our, our show in Hartford. I I'm getting ready to go. I uh, I think maybe you did. You met him, my dad. And, uh, I go, uh, can't pitch today like just to tell him back still hurts because right. i was not gonna pitch because we had a 7 30 a.m game so we go to bed at 5 a.m and and everybody goes it was actually my catcher left he comes out he goes brent you gotta go to bed because your job as a catcher too is you gotta take care of your pitcher so you gotta find your pitcher when he doesn't show up and she was 20 i was 16 i'm Dude, the best we know right. we know the yeah deal. and so I go, doesn't matter. I'm going to get us out of it. I ain't pitching tomorrow. I'm going to say I'm still injured. And I go to tell him that. He's so mad. He goes, you fucking pitch it. And I go, oh. So I pitch. Scouts. I realize why he was mad. Here's why. Half the fucking field is drunk. Because they're all college kids. So my outfield is wasted. My shortstop is wasted. All the captains are wasted. Because they got drunk with locals all night. And they were going into Canada because 18's legal for booze. And they're 18. So they were coming back. So I remember in the first inning, I walk two guys right away. I mean, terribly. Radar guns go down. College dreams gone, uh, which should be because I wasn't that good. <laughs> then a fly ball goes to, I go, okay, this guy's a D1 player. It's going to him. It was like he was looking for butterflies. He sees the ball, and then he goes, woo, out loud, woo, falls wildly over his head. He's so goddamn wasted. I realize. Is everybody drunk? So they give the ball back to me, and we have a little meeting at the mound. I go, who the fuck is drunk? And they all reek of booze. We're all Hilarious. Wasted. So I go, God damn. And I got mad. I don't know how I did it, but I struck out the next 12 people. I leave the game, and then I go, cutoffs. He goes, yeah, I'll order them. And then by the time they got we there. had them, I was gone. Yeah. So then it was great to go with him, and then he gets to. They're all wearing them. They're all wearing the cutoffs. And I go, those ah. are my cutoffs. That's and then funny. he said it was, right? Yeah. And I was like, those are my cutoffs. Yeah. He goes, he goes, he, goes I, he, he said something like, I always honor a bet or something like that. Yeah. And yeah. the thing is, when I got on television too, he was really proud of me. And he wrote me, and uh, he goes, really proud of you. And it was really, 
embarrassing when he was trying to tell the players, do you know who this is? This yeah. guy used to play here, and now he's a TV star. No one cared. Like, never really, heard of him. It hurt my feelings, just like your son hurts my feelings. I'm literally <laughs> wearing boots because your son had boots on when he came over. Right. <laughs> and uh, all I said to him on the Facebook the first time I was on TV, I said, uh, I want a field. I want a field name after me. <laughs> I was joking, but i you never know when you're joking if it happens. It's like, yeah. Brent Moore and Field would be hilarious. Oh, man, that'd be <laughs> freaking hilarious. The logo is just you throwing your glove into the field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Famous photos of my ugly face when everything goes wrong. Just <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where are we at on time? We're, I mean, like we're uh, like an hour over. An hour. We're over an hour, but I think we should go a little long in case we have to like, you know, yeah, yeah. cut things out. Cut, cut your bullshit. So I'll just, tell you this, my, fa my favorite thing from uh, playing baseball, my dad, you know, we have something in common. We both idolize our fathers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember I'm playing JV baseball. And the JV field's here and the varsity field's here, and I'm a sophomore in high school. And the JV coach, Mr. Larshell, loved him to death. That guy was the nicest dude. He, he did it the right way. And... Uh, Coach Longo was the coach, I think, of uh, the varsity team. He was scary as shit. And I'm a sophomore, and they're all everybody seemed 10 feet tall when you're a yeah. kid, you know, like on the team. I'm pitching in the JV game, and I'm killing. I'm feeling good. These guys are sophomores. And somebody runs over from the varsity game because we're at the same time and goes, Brent, Brent, they want you over there. So my dad, you know, baseball player, coach, it's exciting. Right. They're bringing me over to the varsity game. So I go, Dad, Dad, they're bringing me over to varsity. So we run over to the field. I don't even know the coach, really. He goes, Brent, you're in. Warm up. Nice. So I get thrown right into the varsity game. <laughs> get thrown. My dad is now sitting in that field where you were is where we played varsity baseball. Right. So he's sitting in the stands like, yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. This fucking guy gets up. He's a first round draft pick from the Mets or something like that, and he's he's playing at Clemson, and he's about three hundred and eighty pounds. And I, at this point, I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna show some things, and I had this curveball that was just this is gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to out speed this guy. I'm not fast right. enough, but I'm gonna get him with the curve. I throw a curveball, first pitch, varsity. Everybody's there, pretty girls there that don't look at me, but they're there, <laughs> but they're there. Uh, seniors and juniors i don't know that i want to be friends with so badly you know what i mean like right. they're all like this could be my end i throw the pitch the guy hits a line drive over my head i put my glove up it's the first pitch i promise you i tipped it mm -hmm. i know i felt it i assume it's a straight line drive to the center field guy he's gonna catch it it goes over his head it goes 480 feet right out <laughs> coach comes out Right after that pitch, my only pitch, takes me out of the game. I had to run back with my dad giggling behind me to JV. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody on the bench goes, what the hell happened? I go, oh, man. Didn't work out. <laughs> That's... Oh, you're back. <laughs> that was a very, that was a fast career over there. It was... was so, and the thing is, I was bragging about how no one has ever hit a home run off of me prior to that. And Mike Craig was the one who gave me shit. He goes, oh. We heard a loud boom over there. And I went, well, it's not what happened. It's just that they thought they needed me because I was lying. I was like, nothing happened over there. Yeah, I'm good. And I was like, my dad's like, no, a home run right away. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You did bust you. That's fine. Oh, it was hilarious. He's giggling behind me, too, just going, yeah, it was fast. <laughs> David and I were not baseball kids. We played one year. Oh, we hated it. My dad, because he, he was a good dad, said, yeah, you're going to finish the season. You're not going to quit. In the middle yeah. Of you, you finish the season, you don't have to go back. Man, I ended up getting knocked out by the fastest pitcher in the league. Oh, like, Ooh, to the head? No, to the body, which is even more bitch. <laughs> well, how, does, how, did, how hard did you get hit? I don't know, Dude, but I woke really up the, going, the, am I in heaven? Hello, darkness, my old <laughs> friend. <Yep. laughs> never swung at the ball till the last game. Oh, you I swung, never yeah. swung. I never did. I, I did because I remember our Uncle Larry showed up to a game, and I wanted oh, to be yeah, cool yeah. in front of my Uncle yeah. Larry. So oh, I'm an swinging, uncle. and I'm, I'm making contact, but they're all fouls. But I got walked, which was I got on base. But I did, that that time I put effort into it because my brother and I we would just, you know, at that we're, age we just stand at the plate going, yeah. "This guy's not going to strike me I out with we pitches." Were seven. Yeah, yeah, we're babies. Oh, man. So oh. there, no one's throwing the ball over the plate, so we're getting yeah. walked, yeah. you know. But yeah. that's fine. I used to do yeah. a memorable thing every game too that everybody remembered in my family. 
I'd piss myself. Oh, my brother would pee himself. What? He would piss himself, I just and then he would stand in the outfield. Outfield. Was and he it would the pants? But, but I don't he, know. I would just urinate myself. Wait, like, my wait, like, he would hold the glove in front of his, in, so you couldn't see the the pee stain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One time I pissed myself and did a slide, and then now I have mud on the front of my. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a yeah. good idea, though, because then it hides the piss. Oh, no, it was it, because no, because you dirt, can tell you piss because so dirt rubs off, uh, mud uh, sticks, uh, yeah. and it's only this, around this dirt diaper, my tiny little Just, penis area. Yeah, that's funny. You know, I played baseball my whole life until high school. So what else do you guys want to talk Anyways. about? <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably good on time, huh? I don't know how we got from twins to baseball. I don't know, but that's the fun of this. Sh- Isn't there a baseball shit. team called the Twins? Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. Got them. Nice. Got him. Um, you know your stuff. It's. Yeah. I think what sparked that was the fact that you slapped him in the ass, and he doesn't have an ass. No, he doesn't. And and I don't have an ass. And that same coach, when I started playing varsity, used to call me hobo ass. I don't even know. <laughs> what is that? What's I don't that even mean? know what that means. But he says you got a homeless ass. Hobo. Well, think about it. Homeless. They've lost everything. Yeah. It, <laughs> now he said so ass. insensitive. Yeah, yeah. And he. Oh man. Yeah. He used to make me run laps backwards. Because he said it, to make you smarter. Oh Jesus! Oh. You know what, North Star? I don't need to hear it. <laughs> um, are, you, are we getting we're getting a lot of messages, by the way, about pick, picking on Will? Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah, good. People, hey. people love it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, people want like great. He's gonna snap one day. Great. Um, all right. Well, let's promote. Uh, okay, this was actually kind of. It was nice. It was we, fun. Got Thanks for hanging out. with us, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got man, dates. We got dates. Oh, yeah. I got them. I got them written down. Yeah. We got you guys yeah, come see us. To... Also. Rate and review this on please rate and review on Apple Podcasts, iTunes. We're now on Stitcher. Yep, we're, we're now on Stitcher, we're now now. On Stitcher yeah, and we will be on. Uh, we should be on iHeartRadio. iHeart very that's soon. That's the plan. And yeah, just we haven't mentioned it before, but rating and reviewing is really important because that's how we climb up the charts. Yep. Um, subscribe too if you haven't yet. Yep. Just do all that stuff. Tell your friends. Spread yes. the word. Um, and we're gonna take over. If you want to come see me we're and Brent, take uh, over? if, we, if you want to come see me and Brent oh, do yeah. stand up, we're going to be uh, at the Punchline in Philly, March nineteenth through the twenty first. March nineteenth, twenty first. Uh, I have a one nighter in Oakland at the Complex, Oakland, uh, March twenty eighth, a seven o'clock and a nine thirty show. That's Oakland, March twenty eighth. I'll be there doing a one nighter. And where do they and get? I, where do they get? Uh, JasonCollins.com. JasonCollins.com. Uh, new website, com. by the way, coming up. My brother made me a beautiful website. He's going to so. make me one as well. Yeah. And so Brentmorn.com. I just Brentmorn.com. Uh, Will Burkhart. Dot well, who nope. gives a shit? <laughs> uh, nice. He'll join Dot us. Nope. He might join us in Tempe, though, for the people that feel we'll sorry for we'll Will. See. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, and, and Tempe, speaking of Tempe, that's April 2nd through the 5th, Tempe yeah. Improv. So we'll be. Uh, we got some stuff. We got some things. Uh, either way, this was fun one. as hell. Um, yeah. Sunday brunch for Monday. Sing it, Brent. That's my hand. So- no. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. I wonder what happened to those. Dave, come say hi. Spawn. We, we have so many twin stories that we didn't get to. That was something interesting. We could do twins. it all the time. Sunday brunch for Monday. Yeah, you can, you can come whenever you want. you want. Dave, that's not how. We'll get another. There he is. Ooh, there there he is. Knee pop. Nice. I heard it. Yeah, knee pop. That fucking hurts so much, didn't it? <laughs> Almost fifty. No. no? What else? Will, are we forgetting no, anything? Man, for real. You're like, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> um, we're only, uh, keep emailing us stuff. Uh, pod the lion's den at gmail.com. Yes. Um, shout out to. We're loving the artwork. Is that yeah, what you're Yeah, yeah. are sending more. us really cool. Yeah, keep sending us stuff because we'll see it. Like, I'll see well, it. Who we'll was the person that we saw in a uh, message that's going to send us a lion? They do sculptures. Yeah, somebody has a, a lion sculpture. I should probably follow up with that um, guy. We got to give him an, an yeah, address. And sh- to shout out to, to uh, Lala England. Um, she designed a, a smooth bully t shirt. I'm going to, I'll put it in the, in the, like a picture here of it. Really cool. And just send us what that stuff. that hand motion? Because <laughs> I'm going to try to have it where it's like I'm holding it. one of the Price is Right girls, you know, just showing off a toaster. What's her name? Lala? Lala England. Dude, yeah. She designed a really cool yes. shirt. Um, so yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is that like send it to us because we'll see yeah. it and it's awesome. Send some and more we may even smooth use it. bully shirts for sure. I yeah, think that's I like a that. funny one. Yeah. And uh, if you, everybody this week, watch the burbs and- uh, Oh, that's right. Yeah, feel good about the burbs and then write us what you think about it. Actually, mm-hmm. send questions about it because I'd like to rewatch that. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. And, and send, then yeah. uh, also, draw your best lion. <laughs> That yo, <laughs> I actually think that's a good contest. I'm gonna try to draw my best lion. I'm terrible at lions. Actually, no, I'm not. I I'm would wonder if I'm good lion at. Lion drawing I don't think contest. I've ever tried to draw a lion. <laughs> Four different contests. Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. Everybody, get involved. Yeah, get involved. Just hit us up. Email us. Instagram. Uh, the the Lions Den Pod on Instagram. Uh, Twitter's at Pod the Lions Den. Um, yeah, that's yeah. infuriating a little yeah, bit, weird. isn't it? A little it's bit weird. when it reverses. And Will, way. what's our website? Uh, well, it's gonna be the Lions Den Pod dot com. Okay, we, we have the domain, so. 
motherfuckers can't steal it. <laughs> nice. So he's got that we have smile. it. He's no, got no, such a that. I'm gonna fuck you up smile. Yeah, he does. I don't there's, like. There's a the on the front. The lines. Yeah, but it's not up yet, so don't go to it yet. Like there's nothing there. But we have the domain. When we have a website, it'll we'll let everyone know. Beautiful. Um, for, for now, yeah. Inst- Instagram, email, hit us up. Hey. Yeah. And subscribe. All right. We love you guys. Sunday brunch for Mondays. We'll see you soon. Bye. We are friends. Digging each other.